Hi everyone, my name is Rosianna, my YouTube channel is Miss X Rojas. I'll put all the details where you can find me on Twitter and on YouTube in the description bar below. And I'm going to be vlogging for GBPosters.com um, about films and television shows primarily. As today is my first video on this channel, I will be trying to make one every week, but we'll see. I'm a busy girl, what can I say? I wanted to run you through some of my favourite television programmes and my favourite films. Those of you who watch my main channel will know that I've been getting ready to move house, which means that I've had to drag down my big box. Oh, of DVDs just for your pleasure. Probably my absolute favourite television programme of all time is The West Wing, which was created by Aaron Sorkin and the best series were written by Aaron Sorkin. My favourite season is probably season two, but my favourite episode might be The Crackpots and These Women or Noel. I'm a big Josh Lyman fan. I'm really excited for Newsroom, which is Aaron Sorkin's newest, and I also really love Studio 60, which I know is the black sheep that no one seems to love, but I, I really like it. I can't think of something that Aaron Sorkin has written that I haven't liked. My least favourite work of his is probably The American President. The phone in my house is ringing. And that's purely because I knew how great The West Wing was going to turn out when I was watching it. Everyone's playing the wrong characters, it's all wrong and confusing and I don't like it. But I understand that that film had to exist for West Wing to exist as well, so I don't hold too many grudges. My other favourite television programme of all time is Doctor Who, specifically the David Tennant era, specifically series two. I think that Russell T Davis did a tremendous job bringing the programme back. And while I really love Matt Smith and Karen Gillan and Arthur Darville, I don't think that the programme is as strong right now as it was in the Russell T Davis era. I just think he was really, really good at telling stories and, and creating a whole in a way that maybe the current era isn't quite so good at. That said, I do still really enjoy it and I also enjoy the Eccleston era and also some of the older episodes as well. I really, really love watching them and just getting a sense for what Talk to who was like back then. Other television programmes I enjoy include Sherlock. I watched Sherlock really late because um, I'm an English literature student, well I just finished studying English literature at university. I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan and I was very very snooty about the adaptation thinking oh god if they're going to make it a modern thing they're going to ruin it, they're going to absolutely destroy it and Sherlock was so important to me that I thought I don't want to watch it. But then people kept telling me you have to watch this programme, it's absolutely amazing. I loved it so much that I bought both series on DVD um, I think it's just a really tremendous piece of work. And if I were someone who felt guilty about their pleasures, uh, I guess I would say that Gossip Girl fell under that category. Ah! It just attacked me. It's like my DVD collection is Chuck Bass. I really love Gossip Girl. I love it right up to the current series. I love it because it infuriates me. It makes me think about all the things that are wrong with television today. They also all wear such nice clothes. My favourite character currently is probably Blair. My least favourite characters are Serena and Chuck Bass. So take that as you will. It's some of my favourite films. I love A Single Man. I think it's just one of the most beautiful, beautiful adaptations of all time. And also just such an exceptional film. Colin Firth did such a terrific job. Such, such, such. Tom Ford's style is on every frame of this film and it's uh, it's really beautiful. If you haven't seen it at all then I recommend you do. It is a little bit heart-wrenching so prepare yourself, get the not so much tissues ready as uh, binge food because this is a sorrow that lasts. I really enjoyed the Ides of March not only because of Ryan Gosling. As you may have gathered from my West Wing obsession I love political drama and I actually made a video about that on my main channel but this was a nice little dark thriller with a little bit of Clooney. I really love Pixar and my favourite Pixar film is probably Wally. -E. I'm a big fan of dialogue and that this film managed to completely capture my attention and just take me over despite the fact that there is no dialogue in the first, I don't know, half an hour or so. It meant that for me it earned its stripes as a masterpiece. To create a film when you care so much more about the robots than about the humans I think is a top number one achievement times. But Pixar are creating the best films out there at the moment and I'm excited to go and see Brave when it comes out. Two films that I never stopped talking about, Easy A which was my favourite film and still is one of my favourite films of all time. I saw it a number of times in the cinema and I re it about once a week. Again the dialogue of the car, Stanley Tucci just being his magnificent self and Emma Stone in her prime makes me very happy. Emma Stone also makes a cameo at the very beginning of this World Gluck film, Friends with Benefits. One for these slightly older audiences. Dialogue is on form, it's smart, it's funny, there's Maya Kunis, there's Justin Timberlake not being a complete idiot, there's Harry Potter references. Oh yeah, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Back when I was talking about non-guilty pleasures, I forgot to mention The Hills. I love Lauren Conrad. And then you've got films like Contact, the Truman Show, such a classic. Midnight in Paris, which is a dream for anyone who's ever loved literature and just is a general snob. Love it. James Franco, I love you. All of the Harry Potters that you can get your hands on, I like them. Oh, The Social Network, Aaron Sorkin, yes, immediate winner. Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, give them all to me. The Illusionist, so great. Another one of my many favourite films of all time. As you might have gathered, I'm very big on adaptations of the books, even though I can be very critical of them, the ones that manage to win through really gain my 
perfection. My love obsession. Breakfast at Tiffany's, as you may have gathered from the Audrey Hepburn behind her. Behind her, behind me. Also, funny face. I'm trying to think of what else I missed. Outnumbered, I really love. I just, oh, I love. I love film and I love television and I'm excited to get to talk about them on here so thank you gbposters.com sorry I have been covering that that is probably a rookie mistake but now I have to go and tidy up all these DVDs so my work's cut out for me I'll see you guys next week bye